Today we're gonna be going through every character's first ultimate ability, worst to best. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, we are still doing the early access giveaway. And now instead of Blade Master, we have Tatsumaki, AKA Wild Psychic. So if you wanna get your hands on early access, make sure to subscribe and let me know down in the comments that you subscribe as well as with your Roblox username and you may have a chance of winning early access or VIP or some random cosmetics or more emotes, literally does not matter. Plus be on the lookout because I will be making a Discord server soon to help with the giveaways as well as giving you guys opportunities to participate in challenges in future videos. Now back to the video. And for the first and worst ability, I'm gonna have to say Savage Tornado. And the reason I'm putting this at the very worst and bottom of the list, first we gotta go over his pros. Now the pros with it is that it has a lot of movement, especially when you're trying to chase someone down, but it does not do a lot of damage at all. And if someone has Ragdoll Cancel, after you use Savage Tornado, most times someone's gonna use Brutal Beatdown. And if you have Ragdoll Cancel, you are able to dodge out of it pretty easily. If you don't, you're just gonna have to pray that someone misses and they just go in a random direction and don't hit you. But for this ability, I'm gonna have to say it is not that good. And it's only really good if you have no ragdoll cancel and you can't really do anything about it because all the other abilities do a bunch, and I mean a bunch of damage. And there's really no combo potential at all other than that right there. But again, you need to have no ragdoll cancel for it to work. So with that being said, oh, I just left the game. <laughs> So with that being said, we're gonna have to move on to our second worst ability, which I'm gonna say is Sunset. And the reason I'm putting this at the second worst part of the list is because it's very hard to hit it if you're far away because it's a very close ranged ability and you have to make sure that you either catch someone in an M1 combo or you just catch them off guard and you're just trying to interrupt the fight. So if this guy's over here, they can see what I'm doing and they can immediately just start running away. But again, if you hit them with the M1 combos then you are able to hit it and it does a bunch of damage and you can do a bunch of stuff from there. So it's not completely at the bottom of the list, but there are a bunch of abilities way better than this one, but it does have area of effect damage. So if people are around you, they they can get hit by the flames as well. But most times people are gonna see it because the effect is so large and it's so easy to escape it. So in my opinion, I don't think this one is that good. But with that being said, now we're gonna have to move on to our third worst ability. And you guys might be surprised by this one. I'm gonna have to say water stream rock smashing. And the reason I'm putting this at this point in the list is because one simple thing, you do have to be close range for it to work. But when you are close ranged, it excels in every other attribute. It does a bunch of damage. You have have a bunch of combo potential. If someone does ragdoll cancel, you can immediately use crush rock and then use rock splitting fist, or you can use final hunt. So there is a bunch of combo potential behind it and it doesn't just leave you out in the open with your pants down. Of course, if you do miss, someone is able to punish you, but this is why I say that you have to be very close range and you can get punished by it. There are some abilities on the list where you straight up just can't get punished even if you do miss, but this one's one of those abilities where you kind of just gotta make sure that you hit it. So with that being said, now we're gonna have to move on to our third best ability which why do I keep leaving again? And I'm gonna have Thunder Kick on this spot of the list. And the reason I'm putting Thunder Kick here is because unlike Water Stream Rock Smashing, if you miss, you still are able to do damage. If someone doesn't hit you while you're in that charge up position, you do 20% damage, which is a bunch. But if someone does hit you, you still do damage with them. Okay, if I spawn this here and I use Thunder Kick and I miss, if he can hit me, wow, how did you miss? Okay, let's try that again. Okay, Thunder Kick. Bro, I don't know if I could actually demonstrate this with a dummy. Anytime someone hits you while you're in that ability, yeah, you do interrupt the damage, but it still does damage. So you're still going to get hit. And if you're too low, then you're gonna get killed, unfortunately. Plus, if you do land it, you just straight up teleport in a different location and you're immediately able to use Flame Wave Cannon after. If you are a Genos player, then you are able to do this accurately, but I don't play Genos and I suck, so I can't do it as well. But this is Trash Can. This is the player that I hate, so I don't care. But yeah, this ability even has combo potential. Like I said, with Flame Wave Cannon, you can use this, you can use Speed Blitz Drop Kick after Flame Wave Cannon, and Incinerate is kind of just an ability that you just use randomly. You can't really have a bunch of combo potential behind it, you just have it. So those are some things to think about whenever you want to use Thunder Kick. But with that being said, now we're gonna have to move on to our second best ultimate ability, which I'm gonna say is Twin Blade Rush. And now, the reason I'm putting Twin Blade Rush as the second best ability, there are so many things you can do with it in terms of range, in terms of combos. You have iframes, which means no one can hit you while you're using it. And as soon as the combo ends, if you spam side dash and you teleport dash, no one can hit you. I don't know if a lot of people know about that, but you can't really get hit when you're doing something like this. And right after, if you do a little dash and you use Carnage, you can also have 
combo potential with that. And then you can go into a fourfold strike if you're close enough and you can use straight on too. Straight on is just crazy. I can't really demonstrate it because once you have no cooldowns, it kind of just makes you dash multiple times. But Twin Blade Rush also has, again, a bunch of range. So these people over here, I can just go over and still do the ultimate ability with it. it. It can be used long range. It can be used short range. It literally does not matter. Now, if you miss, you got to make sure you miss while they're far away because someone is able to punish you. But if I miss this person and I end over here, they can't really do nothing about it. Plus, if someone were to use counter, you break through that. If someone were to block, you break through that. The only thing that kind of messes it up is death counter, which is going to be the best ability on the list. And I don't even think I need to explain why death counter is the best ability on the list. It's literally an insta kill. Plus, there's no cue for when you use it other than your health and the fact that you move a little bit faster. But if you just use it randomly and you're not moving, then bro. And if you're at full health, it is extremely easy to catch somebody off guard with it. And after you use it, you're back to full health. So it really does not compete with any other abilities. It's just number one automatically. Plus, this can hit multiple people. It can possibly kill multiple people. And yeah, death counter is the best. Hands down, I don't even have to explain myself. There are very little cons. The only cons I would have to say is that you can tell that it's gonna happen if you're good enough at the game and you play it enough. That's not even a con. That's just an indication. But with that being said, that is every character's first ultimate ability, worst to best. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and make sure to click on this video right here.